dirty if I thought I had it. Hello and hello and hello. How's everybody out there doing today? Today has been a sad day here at the house. Um, my aunt uh, received her wings this morning in, um, around 12.51. Um, I think it's when they pronounced her uh, dead. Um, she had cancer. She uh, she's now in heaven. She's in a better place now. So um, just keep all of our pray uh, families in prayers. Um, she was my aunt. Um, she had a heart. Of gold. She's a very special woman. Um, she was a tough woman. Um, that had a kind of hard life there for a little while. But we, you know, we all get into that from time to time. Um, but she died this morning from, uh, cancer. Like I said, she died from cancer. Um, what is up? What is up? My grandfather, or, uh, grandpa, he died from cancer back in 90-something, 91, I think it was, 91 or 92. And, uh... Of course, my grandmother got ran over by a car back in the 80s um, while she was going out to check the mailbox. But they had eight, seven sisters and one brother. Or uh, kids. Eight, uh, seven sisters, uh, daughters and one son. So there was eight sisters and one uh brother in the family and we've already lost uh one sister uh about three years ago and we've lost a the baby brother about two years ago might have been three years now they were real close to uh, death on each other uh yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, both of them have died from cancer. Um, I didn't know it. Uh, my mom and them didn't tell me, but my aunt, the one that passed away this morning, had cancer back then. So she had cancer that I didn't know about for the last three years. Um... So she passed away this morning, about 12, 1251 this morning. So she got her wings. She went on to heaven uh, to be with her sister and her baby brother. Um, they were, the sister was in her age a little bit, but the baby brother and my aunt, they were still pretty young. Um, I'm not sure how old they were. Um, I'm not sure how old my aunt was this morning when she passed away. Uh, but they wasn't that old. They was in their, I'm going to say they was probably in their 50s, early 50s, like barely even touching 51. So, um, yeah. Um, haven't been on here in three or four days, um, uh, of course I had my aunt, she was at home, uh, when she passed away, um, she had really went downhill for the last four or five days, um, well, when you get eat up with cancer, I mean, you're just eat up with it, and you just don't know when your time is coming, you just know that it's near. And, um, yeah, 
uh, she uh, couldn't talk from coughing. She couldn't catch her breath. Um, she needed to go to the hospital, but if she would have went to the hospital, she would not have her family with her. And so, she died at home uh, with her, uh, there would have been six sisters all together courting her, counting her. So now she's dead. Now there's only like five sisters left out of those eight, seven sisters and one brother. So now they're down to five. Just five is all there's left. And, um, yeah. So, um, uh, uh, what was I going to say? So, yeah, there's only five sisters left now. So, and, uh, but they was all around her when she went. Uh, people like my mother. See, I'm uh, I'm two hours away from her right now. Uh, my mother stayed down there all week with her, and I've got another aunt that lives over in Arkansas. I'm not sure about how far that is from them. I'm guessing that's about three hour drive away from them. I'm guessing something like that. The rest of them pretty well lives right there. Uh, close to her within like 15, 20 minute time frame, you know, so. Um, like I said, if she would have went to the hospital, she would have died in the hospital. And she would have died alone. Um, we all know that the coronavirus, that's another thing I'm going to talk about here, here tonight too, is coronavirus. But um, it's on the rise. Um, so with people being in the hospitals and stuff, they're not going to allow anybody to go in and out due to the coronavirus. So, <clears throat> But she took her last breath. Now she done went on be with uh, the good Lord. Um, so, but yeah, yeah. Just keep my me and my family and all of them in your prayers. Um, she admitted. Um, I talked to her about a month ago. And they've uh, made up their mind and stuff. So she is uh, definitely going to be uh, cremated. So she's not going to be buried. She will be cremated. So um, that's a little bit of uh, less money that we got to come up with. Uh, so don't ask how much it is because I'm not totally sure. Um, I don't know if they actually went today and made arrangements or not to get everything done in place. So, um, but I think what she was wanting done is being cremated. I think that's still going to be about three grand out of pocket. So, um, I'm taking up donations, uh, through PayPal. Um, everything is going toward that family. I've got like, um, $150 on PayPal that I'm taking out of PayPal and it's going towards the family. Um, I've been trying to save this money for the gaming system that I'm doing, wanting to do on here and stuff. But, uh. I think it's a little more, more important to take care of your family first than trying to, I mean, I can deal with it, with it out a little bit longer. I mean, I've done with it out this long, so I can do without the game system for a little while longer. Um, but I am taking donations through PayPal. So, uh, y'all want to give, 
Um, that'll be a huge uh, thank you. Uh, you're who? Your whole family is in my prayer. Oh. Oh, okay, I got you. Well, thank you, bro. Thank you. Um, but we're all going to pitch in a little bit. Uh, like I said, there was five sisters left. So... I'm a nephew, so I'll be her nephew, so I'm taking what money I've got in the PayPal. I'm going to clean it out and give it to the funeral home or whatever we need to do to take care of that. Um, so, yeah. So, but that's where I've been for the last three or four days, you know, been trying to work with her and trying to get her situated and got Thanksgiving coming up. So, you know, that's going to be kind of hard on a lot of us. So... Uh, Yep, so let's um, talk a little bit about this old coronavirus that we've got going on around here. Um, like I said, um, it is growing uh, rapidly. Um, I wouldn't have thought of it picking up like it is, but right now it is really uh, picking up speed. Um... I think they're talking about going into another lockdown. That's how bad the virus has really gotten. Um, I think they're getting ready to talk about another lockdown, which I think is mandatory right now. Um, I think we're one of the school systems in our county is shutting down for these next two weeks. And they will be closed for the week of Thanksgiving. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the date was that they were closing. I think it's supposed to be in as of Friday, I think, which was the, yesterday or today. No, I think it was today. I think it goes in effect for today. And but they're doing a, um, you know, they're doing what they were doing before. You know, on the internet, um, have to do the school work from home and stuff like that. I think that's what they're doing till then. Um, but the virus is spreading like crazy right now. Um, and yes, I am wearing my mask, and I would encourage everyone else out there to wear your mask. Um, just remember. Wearing your own mask is for your protection, it's not for their protection. Um, I know I live in an area where coronavirus is getting bad, but there's other places cross, cross country that it is uh, way worse than it is here. But it is getting worse by every day. Um, I think we're like, for the state of Tennessee, is over 300,000 people for the state of Tennessee, and that's quite a lot. Uh, so, I'm not going to make this a very long video tonight, um, simply because I'm trying to stay in touch with uh, my mom and my other aunts uh there's my mom and then there's four other aunts so there's five uh yeah five left in all the bunches um i've got a couple of cousins um 
they lost uh, their two cousins, their sisters. Um, they lost their mother a few years back from cancer. And my aunt tonight, the one that passed away, or yeah, the one that passed away this morning, um, was more of a godmother to them. So um, they're taking it hard right now as well. Um, they're old enough, uh, they, um, my cousin, they live on their own. One of them, I think, is married, the other one is still single. Uh, so, yeah. But cancer kills, um, you know, and I'm not trying to say this in the wrong way, but my grandmother on my mama's side, now I'm talking about my mama's side family, uh, my grandmother, she had cancer too, but she did not die from cancer. She died from getting ran over by a car. So, uh, but my grandfather, he died with cancer, and that's what killed him. But anybody else in the family, like the baby brother, which is my uncle and my aunt, both of them died from cancer. So far, everybody that's in my family so far, um, cancer has been the reason why everybody has passed on. Um, now on my daddy's side, um, it's not on my daddy's side. Um, his daddy remarried, which is my grandpa. He remarried another woman and now she died from cancer as well. And she died from cancer in 97. Um, so she died here a while back, but like I said, she did die from cancer. Uh, she wanted to die at home. Um, but my grandfather is pretty much lives by himself now. My mother pretty much well takes care of him now. She actually moved in with him. She actually takes care of him. Um, but my dad's mother, she is still alive. And on my daddy's side, his daddy is still alive. So they're still alive. They're just not married. Uh, they've been separated for several, 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 several years. Um, and then, of course, my grandpa fell in love with another woman, and they got married. But like I said, she died from cancer, too. So, um, on both sides of the family, my mom's dad's side and my dad's side, um, so far, cancer has been the main cause of all the deaths, especially right now on my mom's side. Um, my aunt and my uncle on my mom's side, they died. It's been, when did they die? It wasn't very long. My wife had open heart surgery six years ago. Jennifer's mama's been dead four years. My wife's mama's been dead for four years. I think they died. It's been about three years since they've died. It may be four years. But the two of them, my aunt and my uncle, they died. 
I think it was one month. It might have been two months apart. They died the same year, but it was like right back to back. I mean, I think it was e either one month apart. might have been two months apart. And then, like I said, uh, my aunt passed away this morning and had cancer way back then. So she's had cancer for almost four years before she died. So. Uh, but, you know, and, and I'm, I'm going to say this, and I hate, and I hate to say this in this way, but, uh, one of the reasons why my dad, aunt that died this morning from cancer, um, she couldn't stop smoking cigarettes. Um, I hate to say that about it, but, you know, she still smokes cigarettes up until about a month ago, I guess. So with her having cancer and smoking cigarettes, you know, they always say smoking caused cancer, right? Well, she made sure that it made it worse so she could get her wings and go home a little quicker. Um, so, I mean, I hate to say that, but it is what it is. Um, and that's one reason why she was coughing and, and couldn't catch her breath because she couldn't stop smoking. When she stops coughing and could actually catch her breath, she'd make a puff on a cigarette. So, uh, yeah. So... With that being said and done, I've already been on here 22 minutes. Um, I really don't want to uh, get off of here because uh, simply I've been off for four or five days or something like that. Might have been longer than that. But uh, like I said, I've got to try to be the shelter for my mom and two of my cousins and you know I gotta kinda shelter them a little bit and uh make sure they all right. Um so um yeah I've already been here twenty three minutes so I am gonna go ahead and get off of here. Uh volume uh forty three appreciate you uh commenting brother. Um Thanks for the prayers, and uh, I'm going to try to be back on here tomorrow night. Um, probably not going to know anything different about any funeral arrangements. So, uh, I'm not seeing no donations coming in right yet. So, well, all right. I guess that's it. going to be about it for us tonight. So, um, we'll see y'all tomorrow night. Appreciate y'all.